Hey, I'm Matt Cheatram. I'm a real estate agent in Central Ohio. I sell the land, and along with some good buddies, we hunt the land. This is Man Hunts Land. Have you ever had that one tool that you really love? Maybe the first bow that you called a real bow. One that was equipped to get the job done in any situation. This was mine, a Matthews Drenaline. It was much faster than what I had shot before. At 70 pounds, the draw was smooth and always stayed on target. She provided a lot of meat for my family and was there for some of the coolest adventures. This is Adrenaline, the hunt for crab. It was summer of 2016. The crops were doing great and it was time to get in the woods to do a little scouting. I tweaked my stand location and got a camera up and running on a well-used trail. In late October, I started getting pics of a unique buck. We named him Crab. Hey guys, it's December 16th. Coincidentally, it's 16 degrees as well. It's uh, getting into late bow season. Uh, we've got actually, I'm here in Ohio, and uh, we've had some really frigid temperatures. We've had single digits and snow the last few days. And I know these deer are up and moving. My buddy Matt shot a really nice 11 point last night I got to be part of, which was awesome. And uh, I tell you, I'm hoping for the best tonight. Uh, we've got a little bit of a warm front moving in tomorrow. Uh, like I said, it's 16 now. It's supposed to get into 20s, in the low 20s at sunset. But then it's going to go um, a high of in the uh, high 40s tomorrow with rain. So the snow is going to melt, and uh, it's going to be a mess. It's typical here in Ohio in December. Crab had eluded me all season. He started showing up again during daylight hours on my trail cam. With the cold weather and a little bit of snow, I figured he would be up and moving earlier than normal. It wasn't long till I saw movement in the trees.
this young buck pinned me down. He bounded off after a few minutes, and there he was, crab, lurking in the backdrop like a ghost. I had heard that a neighboring hunter had wounded a bigger buck during gun season. The gash on crab's neck told the story. As he also got leery, he walked off, and that was the last time I saw him that year. Crab was alive. He made it through winter after being wounded and looked great.
Oh my gosh, guys. We got crab. We got crab. Guys, I've watched this deer all last year. And uh, we tried to get him and he, he went nocturnal on us. And uh, this is bow hunting, man. I tell you, we, I came in here and switched my cart out the other day and he'd been here every night at 6.45 to 7 o'clock, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then he didn't, he was gone. Didn't see him again. And, uh, um, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. Um, I thought maybe he was chasing those and he was gone. And he hadn't been here this early. It's, it's 5.45 right now. Uh, on Thursday the, Thursday the 26th. And I tell you, we had just had three does come through. You may have seen it. And he was right behind them. And for whatever reason, they broke off and went towards the other way. And he came straight into my set. And um, <laughs> we got it done. So we're going to get down and go see what crab really looks like. Just a huge body. And look at this rack. Just a big mature deer. This deer, we've been seeing him on trail camera, but he's only been coming in right at right at like seven o'clock, right when the sun's going down. And we haven't seen him for the last few days. And uh, anyways, I was just sitting in stand and three does came in from back here and worked up through and they went on and for whatever reason, he didn't follow him. And he came straight down to my set and uh, 17 yards, you know. And uh, I was worried about shooting high, I'll be honest. I tried to put my 20 yard pin, you know, low on him. And as you can see, I, I did hit him high and knocked him, you know, spined him, knocked him over, but I made a quick second shot and uh, dispatched him quickly. So, yeah, we gotta take care of our animals. And, you know, I have to say I'm kind of sad because, uh, the chase for this buck is over with and um, he's a dandy he is a dandy look at the the mass on his bases I mean he's just just a wonderful deer we've called him crab um, he's had this crab claw in here and you know just couldn't be more blessed I know I'm rambling but I am so excited uh, we the challenge of hunting a mature morning. buck can be daunting and more times than not ends in failure that failure is what makes you a better hunter and drives you to accept the challenge again and again. Once you find success, emotion takes over. Anyone that has had buck fever knows exactly what I'm talking about. With crab, I was speechless initially, then started babbling. That, in and of itself, is the essence of success hard work, and being proud of what you accomplished.